If, if you ever go to Malaysia, uh, near Malaysia, into Malaysia or Thailand, you must try this. It's a, it's a durian fruit. Some of you may, <clears throat> some of you, may have already heard of this. Um, it's a, it's a fruit that, uh, from what I know, from what people have told me, you can only find it in Malaysia and Thailand. It's this fruit here. Look, I'll zoom in on it a bit. This fruit. And, and it's, it's, it's got, one thing you'll notice, it's got a very strong smell, like uh, do, do you, when they sell these, if you walk through Kuala Lumpur, where they're selling the durian fruit, you can literally smell, smell the fruit from about 25 metres away. And even when you drive past where they're selling it in the car, you can smell it uh, as you drive past in the car windows. Um, and the, 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 the smell is so strong, it's like, uh, uh, there's even, you're not allowed to carry it on the train. There's signs permitting, um, prohibiting the, that you're not allowed to carry durian on public transport like the trains. And there's signs in the hotels saying that you um, don't bring durian into the hotels and they don't let you carry it in your luggage as well because, uh, again, cause it, it, the fruit has got a very strong smell. But you, you need to try it when you're in Malaysia. Some people, some people love this fruit and some people hate it. Some people, it's a complete luxury, but some people, they can't stand it. Me personally, I, I, I love this fruit. Even some people hate the taste and the smell. Me, I love both. I love the taste and the smell. Um, it's, it's one of those things like, uh, it's one of those things like Marmite. You either love it or you hate it. But it's a it's a it's a luxury. It's a bit like a, I suppose it's like caviar as well. It's a luxury you need to try. And then um, yeah, it's it's this it's 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 famous in Mauritius. In uh, I'm in Mauritius. It's famous in Malaysia. Um, there and there's even there's even like a uh, durian farms that I saw where you can try all different grades all different grades of it, the highest grade being Musang King, which will be a little bit expensive, but it's worth a try if you're, if you're in Malaysia. And, uh, and it's, it's um, also it's famous there where you can even find durian chocolates, durian sweets, durian fridge magnets. I've even seen durian uh, slippers, where the, the, the outside of the slippers is like this green, this green, uh, this green skin shaped in the shape of that green skin. So, yeah, that's one thing uh, I'm just making a video about. Uh, me, I personally loved it. Let me know in the comments if, if you've tried the fruit and if you, if you loved it or you didn't like it. And it'll be interesting to see your, your own experiences on the durian fruit.